And now it is my honor to invite to the podium Mayor Michael Seifkees from the city of SeaTac. Thank you. You know, this is my third year in a row of doing this. The first year I had been mayor scarcely more than maybe a month. And uh, our, our economic development director, Jeff Robinson, handed me, I think it was him that handed me a list and said, here's all the projects going on. So I went up and I read the list and really didn't know what was going on. You know, we've got a lot going on in SeaTac and I probably still uh, don't know everything that's going on at this point, but I do my best. So uh, thank you for uh, hosting this event again for the sponsors and for the chamber. I appreciate this. Uh, we as, as a city have had a lot of groundbreakings, a lot of ribbon cuttings, and uh, the news is pretty much all straight up good for the city of SeaTac. Yesterday we uh, had a, a, a um, groundbreaking uh, for a, uh, a construction on the 24th 26th Street corridor uh, that's for AIC and Trammell Crow that's going to bring 4,600 460,000 square feet of light industrial. Uh, that's actually on port property, so we've appreciated the port making better use, at least for our purposes, of, of property they have in the city of SeaTac. Uh, that project will bring about 400 full-time jobs, and uh, it was really a partnership between a lot of different parties, so I appreciate our city's uh, employees and, and the different parties that came together to reach that agreement. Last year when I had this, I talked about our negotiations with the Port of Seattle. We had a, uh, at the time, what was an outdated um, interlocal agreement with the port that kind of ran our relationship with the port and how we dealt with each other on different issues like access, transportation, all sorts of different issues. Uh, we went through the process. It took a year and a half, I think, of negotiations, hard fought, and uh, and when we came out to the end, we came up with a great agreement that's helpful to our city and, and I believe helpful to the port, helping us, uh, uh, we want the airport to be successful. And in order to do that, we need to have the ability to, to use some of the funds the airport gets to make it more accessible through coming through our city. So we were able to complete that. Uh, we have a new nature trail along Angle Lake Park and Riverton Heights Park. You know, I'm gonna run out of time if I talk too long. I can go for 10? Thank you. Angle <laughs> uh, Lake Station opened quite some time ago, but uh, you know, when they designed Angle Lake Station, the city insisted on some things, including the parking, because there wasn't a lot of parking along the light rail stations. And the city insisted that they put in some good parking there, which they did, and they designed it so that there was a space there, a public space that we could put in either a farmer's market or food trucks or things like that, and, and that's, uh, we're at the beginning stages of using that, right? Right, Jeff? Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm just, not, if Jeff nods, I'm saying the right thing. If he nods the wrong way, then I'm, I, I'm gonna backtrack. Uh, we have a couple fire stations that, uh, we built a fire station and we're tearing down a couple and selling the property. Uh, we have our city airport advisory committee and a mayor's roundtable that meet to discuss airport related issues. And some of you probably already know this, but uh, our city manager, Joe Scorcio, who's done such a great job for us, is gonna be retiring at the end of this year. Uh, we'd like to keep him for another couple years. Uh, we're losing the tug of war with his wife. Uh, <laughs> and we probably should, though we don't want to. So uh, we're in the process of uh, reviewing applications for that at this point. Our city finances, we have a six month strategic reserve of 19.3 million, which is based on, and we have an annual budget of around 36, 37 million, so you can have the, the, the scope of uh, our strategic reserves. We only have $2.6 million worth of bond debt, and that's only, most of that is because we're a member of the SCORE jail, uh, and we can't retire it early even though we'd like to just say we owe nothing to anybody. Um, and we can, though, uh, according to our city, we could, we could go bond 70 million bucks, so we're choosing not to at this point. Um, and a three-year average capital improvement program of 14 million. So we're happy with our finances. 
uh, crime. Um, our police chief, uh, we had a discussion with him and he said crime is general, generally down throughout our city, little crime in the residential neighborhoods. Last year we added one police officer. You know, it takes a long time to add a police officer. You can't just say we, we're hiring a police officer and have one the next day. You say I, we're getting a police officer and get one nine to 12 months later. So we added one and uh, with the help with our agreement with the port, we're adding six more police officers this year. So we'll have a, a great ratio of police officers to residents in our city. A couple of them will be on motorcycles taking care of traffic issues like we face at 160th and anyway, different areas. Started a permit parking program because we get some overflow from people wanting to take, get on their airplane, park in our neighborhood, park their car, jump on the airplane and expect their car to be there when they get back. And uh, we're hoping to disabuse them of that. It's a lot cheaper than going to some of the parking places. I understand, but we don't want that. The people don't want that in front of their houses. Last slide, I promise. Um, we have uh, 22 active projects in the pipeline, including lodging, industrial, residential, and education projects. These projects represent about $600 million of development. Uh, that includes our the Alaska Airlines headquarters expansion, uh, a school, um, Tonight, right after this, I'll be going to a hotel called Aloft, well, a little later this afternoon to do a ribbon cutting for them. And uh, so groundbreaking yesterday, ribbon cutting today, those are happy times for mayors, I can tell you that. Nobody yells at you. Um, nine new hotels will be online in a couple years, adding about 1,300 more rooms to our inventory, uh, two of which have recently opened the residence in at Angle Lake and Aloft. So, we're happy with how our city is going. I'm happy with how our, the people that make our city what it is, how what they're doing and how they're doing it. And SeaTac's a great place to live. Thank you.